40 foot sailboat is still on the beach almost after a week after it washed ashore on Fort Morgan. Now we have a better understanding of what happened, why it's there. WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams has been looking into this. She's joining us live in Fort Morgan. Now when vacationers picked out their beach house for the summer, this was not in the brochure, <laughs> Debbie. Not at all, not at all. This happened last week. We told you about it last week and we showed you last week the um, the boat and as you can see it is still here. It's a 40 foot sailboat registered out of Oklahoma. It's called Living the Dream and it's here on the beach in Fort Morgan. What we told you last week is just to get you up to date. Two people on the boat. They were anchored about a mile off the beach, but storms and engine trouble were told. Uh, forced them to abandon ship. They swam all the way to the beach. They're okay, we understand. You can see that uh, it hasn't moved much, but it has, is listing a little bit worse than it was the first time that we showed you. Now, removing this is going to be a monumental task, and um, we just don't know at this point. The timetable is kind of iffy because this is unincorporated part of Baldwin County, and so those timetables may not be as strict as, as you would say in Orange Beach or Gulf Shores or one of the incorporated little communities. I did speak with one of the people that was on this boat. She said they are devastated, that they uh, are fine, they're okay, a little bruised, but this was their home. They had been anchored or moored at the Fairhope Pier for a couple of years. Uh, when that pier was damaged during Hurricane Sally, then they were told that they would have to find another place and they were on their way to Panama City when this occurred. So it is still here. It's still a bit of a tourist attraction, although a lot of the tourists have gone back to school and it will stay here until they figure out what to do next. Um, we're going to continue to monitor this. I'm going to talk with her a little bit more and see what else they can tell me about the situation and the timetable that it will take to get this boat off. But as you can see, the longer it stays here, the worse it gets if it stays intact and if we have some bad storms then this thing could come apart although it looks to be a mighty sturdy vessel at this point but you just never know with the tides the water the wind and the storms in this part of the uh, the gulf coast live on the baldwin county beat in fort morgan debbie williams wkrg news 5.